All right, in this video, we are going to practice customizing a modern view report. Now, the exercise is over here on the right-hand side that we're going to follow along with, and this is pulled from our Basic Level Pro Advisor Certification course. If you would like more information about that course after we go through the uh, exercise, just click on the link below in the description. So our scenario today is that Craig has some new products and services he would like to offer to customers, and Freeman Sporting Goods is a great customer that may benefit from some of them. Craig is unsure which location brings in the most business, if there isn't even one at all. So he has asked you to run a detailed report showing the year-to-date sales for each Freeman location. So to do this exercise, you will need to be in the sample company. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. So let's get started with the exercise and get to the reporting center. To do so, from the left navigation bar, you've got, you have to click on reports. The left navigation bar is over here. On the left-hand side, you will see reports about halfway down. Go ahead and click on that. Now, QBO offers a modern view for some of the reports, and you can tell which, one have, which ones have this option because it says new enhanced experience. So if I scroll down a little bit, um, you can see like this one says new enhanced experiment, experience and, and so on and so forth. So we're going to use one of these for, the, um, for this exercise. We're going to scroll down to the sales and customers section and then click the sales by customer detail report. So scroll down a little bit to this sales and customers section, and we're going to click on the sales by customer detail report. You can see this is that modern view. Go ahead and click on that. You will get this little pop-up likely, um, and this is just a little information from QBO. Um, they are currently going through, at this time, they are currently going, uh, moving all of the reports into a modern view, and it's a slow process, and they're just rolling out a little bit by little bit. So that's what this information is, just letting you know that they have changed the uh, view. So here we have the report. Um, now the report has been run. I know it doesn't look like there's anything on my screen, um, but it does need a little bit of customization. So we're going to uh, change the date range for this. We're gonna click on the down arrow next to this month to date to expand the dropdown and select this year to date. So that is right here to change that uh, time. Go ahead and click on that and we need this year to date. So scroll down a little bit until you get to it. And the report has been run again. Now, I know if you're looking at my screen, you're probably thinking, well, there's nothing there. If you are running this report at the beginning of the year, like I am doing, it is January, you may not have much information or like me, nothing at all. So for the purposes of this exercise, we're just going to select different dates um, because what happens is the sample company is constantly changing dates. So uh, a lot of the data that they have, the transactions are not necessarily, um, because I'm doing this at the beginning of the year, it's not necessarily showing up. So I'm going to change the date range um, to all dates. So if you have the same kind of screen as me, feel free to change it to all dates so that that way you actually have some information pulled here. Now that the date range is correct based on when you are doing this, um, this exercise throughout the year, um, we need to customize the report so it only is showing Freeman Sporting Goods. So we're going to click on filter, which is right here. And then in the filter field, let's select customer name. Filter field is right here. Click that down arrow. Customer name is right there at the top. Now remember, we want to see all of the locations, not just Freeman. Freeman could be considered the parent and then the locations are considered the children. So we need to uh, adjust this operation field to select equals including children. So we want it to equal um, saying Freeman, but we also want to include all of the children, which is um, all of the locations for uh, Freeman. In the value field, we're going to select Freeman Sporting Goods, click that down arrow. You can either type it in the search bar or just scroll down a little bit and you can click out of this. It has been selected. 
And one of the great things about modern view is that the report is automatically updated when you make changes. So as you saw, I just clicked out of the box that I did, um, which you can do anywhere, click anywhere outside of that field um, that you just entered to see it being updated here on the left hand side. Now we are done with filtering, so let's go ahead and click on the X on the top right corner to exit, which is right here. Now this is the report is showing what we need for Craig, but if you want to adjust the columns, for instance, you could click columns, which is right here. From here, you would click and drag and move the columns however you preferred. If you didn't want to have customer listed first, you wanted to have date, you could just click on the dots and just move it around how you needed to. You can also click on the I, I, I icon <laughs> next to any column to hide the column completely. As you saw, that date one disappeared. Um, for now, we're just going to leave everything as is, but just know that this is another way that you can customize the report itself. So finally, let's name this, some, this report something a little more accurate based on the data within it. We're going to click on the pencil icon next to sales by customer detail. And then in the box, which is right here, that pencil icon is right here. In this box, we're going to type Freeman Sporting Goods Sales. So click into it, delete what is there, and type in Freeman Sporting Goods Sales. And when you click out of this box here, you will see that it has been updated here um, for us. So um, everything is looking good. So we are going to say that this report is all ready to go and ready to send to Craig. So to export it, we want to click on the down arrow next to export and then select export to PDF. That is right here. So click on that down arrow and then select export print as PDF. When you do that, a preview window is going to appear with the option to either save as a PDF or print it. And you can view it here. You can always scroll in and see and make sure that it looks good um, so that you, um, you, know, you feel confident and ready to send it off to Craig. But that's it. That is how you would customize the Modern View Report. If you liked this exercise and you want to do more like this, feel free to click on the link below in the description. Um, we also have the uh, information about the Basic Combo Pro Advisor Certification course. It's in that, uh, the link is there in that description. That is what I meant to say before. But that's it and I will see you in the next exercise.